Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Okay, so I've been using this for the past four weeks. I put this back in the box so you guys can see the unboxing experience. On the left side of the screen, I'll put the specs of the device for those who find it interesting. In the box, you'll get an S Pen. Followed by a power adapter, the S6 does support fast charging. A USB Type-C charging cable. A user manual pack. And since the Tab S6 doesn't have a headphone jack, you will get a USB Type-C headphone. Just like any Samsung product, the headphones does feel very premium. And lastly, you will get a small clip to help you remove the S Pen head tips and few spare plastic tips. The plastic tips doesn't wear off that easily so you don't need to change them that often and it should last you a very long time my previous tablet was an ipad here it is next to the tab s6 to get an idea of what the screen looks like and the size of each screen the Tab S6 is definitely the sleeker out of the two, although it is the same size as the iPad, it has a much bigger screen due to the thin bezels. Here's what it looks like compared to Samsung S8. As you can see, it's really thin and probably one of the thinnest tablets available right now. The camera bump is very small. I'm pressing it from all four corners and even without a case, it doesn't wobble at all on a flat surface. From the first day I bought it, I started using a case. I have two types of cases that I'm going to show you. First is a magnetic flip cover. As you can see, the case doubles as a pouch for the S Pen and keeps it protected from falling or getting lost. The second one, which is my favorite, is a clear plastic case. I have to say that this thing feels very fragile. I wouldn't trust it without a case. I got these two cases for less than $30. The original Samsung case cost about 150 USD and it comes with a keyboard. I'll show you how to save some money using a built-in feature for all Android devices. All you need is a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter and a mouse and keyboard combo. Plug the receiver in the adapter and you can start using it as a traditional laptop. I did have some issues with my laptop recently.
I did end up using my tablet for my schoolwork. It didn't feel any different from my laptop. And if you did enjoy the video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you get notifications. Next thing is the S Pen. The S Pen is what first got me excited about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. It's almost the size of a pencil and it feels very comfortable in the hand. It does support a new base features like increasing or decreasing volume, but I didn't really find it that practical. However, I do like the fact that you can take selfies with it using the button on it. The Tab S6 does have a micro SD card option. This can give you an additional storage of up to one terabyte. Here at the bottom, you can see the grooves and the magnetic pins that the original keyboard attaches to. On the other side, you will find the power button and the volume rocker. Now I'll show you a very neat feature. It is called Smart View and it allows you to mirror your screen on the smart TV wirelessly. I found this handy when I'm doing my Zoom meetings and my online classes. And last but not least, Samsung DeX. It is a neat built-in feature in most recent Samsung handheld devices. It turns your tablet into a laptop or desktop like experience. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. See you in another video. Bye.